Okay, let's go to the next level of the circle. And um, what, this, uh, what this level of the circle talks about and uh, is the, uh, what, what exact parts can be compromised. And I guess I'll just use the term hack. Um, we'll contrast it later with the term crack. The term crack is actually the better term, but you know, who's to say? Now hack has become such a term of art for the process of, um, uh, of, of attacking information that we'll just basically use the word hack. So where is the hack? What exactly gets hacked? Hardware can get hacked. So something can happen that compromises the, the hardware so that, the, so that it, uh, it gives access to information that wouldn't have been um, allowed otherwise. The software can be hacked. That's kind of the classic hack. Software is much more vulnerable than the hardware because usually the hardware, um, usually the hardware is somewhere where you can't actually get to it or affect it, except through software. So remember, the differenti differentiation between hardware and software is not so hard and fast as it might first seem. The hardware is obviously the devices, but the devices run software. So your router, for example, your wireless router has software running that. Um, that controls its operation. So when it's hacked, is the hardware hacked? Well, yeah, the hardware hack is hacked because the the um, the the uh, router is 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 um, affected in some way. But how is it hacked? It was hacked through the software. So you can hack hardware. You can you can change the hardware, but usually you're changing the hardware through the software. And then finally, communications. For example, when you're um, when you're in a coffee shop and you're using a, an, an unsecured Wi-Fi connection and someone elsewhere in the, in the coffee shop is monitoring that communication, is monitoring the, monitoring the, um, the interchange between you and the Wi-Fi router, um, that's hacking the communication. They're kind of tapping into your, uh, to your communication. And that could happen anywhere in any network um, if, uh, on network computers throughout the world. Lots and lots of internet traffic goes through. You can what's called sniff that traffic for um, packets of information that are interesting to you. And um, in that way, uh, in that way, compromise the security, the uh, availability, or the integrity of the information.